So how did you get stuck with the worst in-home health care company ever? I don't know, man, but if that's your question, stick around to the end, and I guarantee I have all the answers that you're looking for in about 2.5 seconds, all right? So look, if you're here with me right now and you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guide. I'm going to help you out with all your in-home health care questions, how to get paid, what's the best company to be with, how do I get through the struggle, how do I even get into the program. Look, I got all the info for you. All right? So if you're here with me right now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Now, before we get started, I just want to like to tell you who are our favorite people to help in the world? Because everybody loves to help somebody. If you're into helping people, you got a favorite person that you love to help. So we help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And listen, we're doing that because everybody deserves to get a paycheck and to be able to support their family. You know what I'm saying? If you're working real hard outside of the house, you're going to want to get compensated. You know what I mean? Now, can't always get compensated for taking care of your family because that's just something that you got to do. But if your loved one is in the right program, I'm going to show you how to turn all your hard work into a paycheck. All right. Now, look, if that sounds good to you, hashtag paycheck, you know, hashtag your area. Where are you watching this from? You know what I mean? So, look, this is how it goes. It's two companies. OK, once a person gets into Medicaid. Uh, what they do is they find them a case manager for their LTSS needs. So, okay, let's say you got into Medicaid and then on day number two, you got into the LTSS program. Now that's, if you're not sure what that is, long-term support systems, they call it a uh, long-term care. All you need to know is that's the only program that will pay for a paid aid. A non-skilled person is what we call a paid aid. Anybody that didn't have, that doesn't have a, a certificate, some kind of nursing degree, you know, some kind of a formal education on healthcare, that's what's called a uh, a non-paid aid. You know what I mean? Don't get it confused with home health care aid or, you know, any of them other titles because those people went to school, all right? So <clears throat> what this is all about is, you guys probably stuck with a bum company that don't really care about you. You know, the wages suck. They making you clock in and clock out. I mean, you taking care of your mom. You got to clock in with your mom? Come on, man. That's crazy. See, big misconception, right? Everybody wants to get paid once they're in a the program, but the case managers, they really don't know the best companies to, uh, to attach you to or, you know, to put you with. So right now, you kind of like way smarter than them. Because you're figuring it out. You're here with me right now. You understand what I'm saying? So what you want to do is you want to get with the best company possible. The best company possible. Now, it's two companies, it's two companies that are legitimately high mark and AmeriHealth brokers. All right. Now I'm saying high mark and AmeriHealth because those are the only two types of insurance that Medicaid uses. You know what I mean? They defer all the work to the insurance company. And then after that, they defer the uh, the clients to the the uh, the agencies. All right. So if they referred you to a, a bum agency, it's just because that's all that they know. You know what I mean? You know, you got to understand it's really not personal. Some people, they just don't look into the best possibilities for you. So what they doing is they just sticking you with the first person that they know. So look. If you can understand that and you here with me now, hashtag live, hashtag I understand, hashtag so what do I do, all right? So this is what it is. They're going to stick you with one of these two companies. The first company, I can't remember their name, but they're like a, a holiday animal kind of company. Their first name is a holiday and their second name is an animal. So when you figure that out, if that's who you with, you need to run fast. You need to get all the way out of there because they do not have your best interest involved. You know what I mean? Now, I just was on the phone with the director and she was saying, KC, they got to pay more than that right now. And I'm saying, nah, this is really what they doing. They got people, you know, doing all the work and they're keeping all the dough. See, that's how reliable aid and these other companies are different. You doing all the work. I don't have to call you and remind you, hey, your mom got to get up this morning. I don't have to call you and remind you, look, it's, 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 uh, 
it's after midnight and your mom wants to drink water. She's going to remind you of that. You know what I mean? What I want to do is connect the paycheck to your pocket. You're doing a lot of good work. I just need you to get the full compensation, you know, for the value of the work that you're doing. Now, it's great that you're taking care of your mom. You was going to do that anyway. You know what I mean? You're taking care of your loved one, your husband, your, your wife, whoever. You was already going to do that. But now that you're with the right program, excuse me, now that your loved one is in the right program, it's time for you to get paid. We need to capitalize on the check. And not only that, we want a good check. We want to make it worth our time. You know what I'm saying? If not, scrap all that because I'm doing this anyway. You understand what I'm saying? I take care of my pop every day. You know what I mean? Just made him breakfast. Uh, just helped him, you know, got his washcloth out, his toothbrush together. You know what I mean? So he brushed his teeth before he ate and all that. You know what I mean? In a minute, I'm going to give him his shoes, his jacket, help him put his jacket on, his hat. And we're going to hit the door. You know what I mean? We're going to make this dialysis run. So if you're doing things like that every day and you're eligible to get paid, you want the biggest check that you can get. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard me. You want the biggest check that you can get. Now, what am I saying? You want to get paid the most for all your work. You know what I mean? You're working hard. You're working very hard. Now, these people, they know you're working hard, but they're keeping all the dough. I don't know what kind of time they on. You know what I mean? They're not like us. You know what I mean? I've seen plenty of people, plenty of people get comma checks. You know, uh, a, 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 a good friend of mine recently thanked me. I thought it was awesome. You know what I'm saying? My buddy, he been on here a lot. You know what I mean? He, he comments from time to time. And he told me, he said, Casey, thank you for opening my eyes. I never actually knew how much I could get paid or how much we was actually losing by going with the other company. You know what I mean? Simple as that. Now, all the case managers don't know the best way. All they know is they have clients, their clients have needs, and they got a job to do. So their job is to quickly get you with another company, with a company, so they can help you with your activities of daily living and get you paid. But they don't look into, excuse me, they don't look into how long it's going to take the company to get you set up. Some of these companies got like 30, 60 day turnarounds to even get you set up. I don't know. Listen, 30 days is a long time for me. If I got to stay home from work and not get paid for a month, man, I, I don't, I just, I don't know how it's going to go down. You know what I mean? I don't know where we going to eat. <laughs> where can I go at and eat and say, yo, man, unless your name is Wimpy, you can't say, let me get a burger today and I'll pay you on Wednesday. It ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. You don't want to go to the good uh, uh, place that you like and all they accept is cash, uh, uh, charge. I don't know, maybe debit. You know what I'm saying? But they not accepting no coupons for come back later and pay. They definitely not doing that. So what you want to do is you want to get with the right company from the start. You hear you watching this broadcast, you're in the best position because now you know everything. All right. So I'm going to break it down to you. In the beginning, you, uh, you, you, you sign up for Medicaid because you know, you know, this is the only program that will allow you to get a paid aid. Whether you're the member and your son or daughter is taking care of you or your, your wife or your husband is taking care of you, you know that you need some stability in your life. So... A paycheck would offer your caregiver stability. You know, that'll be the difference between, you know, them showing up on time and them not showing up on time because the bread is there. And not say that they won't show up on time for you because they love you. But what I'm saying is they probably got other things to do. And if making the money outside of the home is the, is the first priority, then that's all it is. But what we want to do is make you and the money inside the home the first priority. All right. So now that you're in the program, you know what to do. They're going to assign you once, 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 okay, once you get into the program, they will assign you a case manager probably like in the beginning of the month. So let's say today is January 26th. You know, uh, if you got into the program today, if they accepted you today, they probably wouldn't put you in and give you a case manager and full benefits until February 1st. But February 1st, you're going to have a whole case manager that's going to be able to take care of all your needs. Now, when that day comes, or even if that day hasn't come, and they give you the name and the telephone number of your case manager, that's when I want you to call me. Call me up, say, yo, KC, we're not trying to go to that bum company. I heard they only paying $9 over there. You know what I mean? We, we, can't, we can't live like that. You know what I'm saying? We need a raise. 
We need good people. I need a good care plan in case I got to step out. You know what I mean? Some people like vacation. Some people like to, you know, go out on the weekends. Some people like other things and they're they going to need somebody in place when they leave. Even though they're getting the paycheck, they still have other lives to consume. So what do I do? I put everything in motion for you. I put you with the best company, which happens to be Reliable Aid Inc. And we set up a, a, a great care plan for you because you already know the care plan. You're taking care of your mother full time. You know what I mean? So what we do is we set up the best care plan in case you have to leave and we can get somebody else in there and get them paid so you can take a little break. You feel me? Now, in the meantime, you want a comma check. You don't want to be with these other bum companies, man. They paying like, I don't know, they paying like barely minimum wage. They paying a little over minimum wage and that ain't working for you. You know what I mean? If you like me, man, you don't want your stomach and your back slow dragging. You know what I mean? Because they, they too close. You know what I mean? We don't want that. We want a little room. We want a little room to breathe. We want a little room to eat. You know what I mean? I like going out. You know what I'm saying? Listen, today's Wednesday, but I'm telling you on Friday, my pop going to say, look, man, give me a cheesesteak, you know what I mean, and, and some fries. Now, if you ain't got no money to do that, it's going to be a hard time, man. And it's going to be a, a very uh, 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 stressful situation because you ain't got no money to make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? So look, man, if you think that having money in your life is a good thing, man, Hashtag, where's the paycheck? All right? If you're here with me live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. <clears throat> All good information, man. All good information. Now, I know your case manager may have stuck you with the, with the bum company right now, but it's not over. It's not over. All you got to do is call me, 302-689-3240. Look, also, if we on the air... If me and you on the air right now, I see you on the air with me, but obviously you ain't asked me no questions. So I know you got a question. Text it to me. That way ain't nobody got to know that you on the air with me. I can just go ahead and answer your question. 302-689-3240. Look, if you watching this in a rebroadcast, 302-689-3240. Text me your questions. I promise I'll read it off on the next, uh, on the next live and we'll get to it. <clears throat> now... I hadn't even really thought about this because I thought a lot of people knew what time it was. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Look, hashtag your city, hashtag your state, man. Let them know, you know, it's big hearted caregivers all over the world. You know what I mean? We definitely coming through in Delaware, you know? So a lady had told me, she said, KC, I can barely make it with what this company is paying me. You know? Now, she was saying she asked the lady for a job. She's been with the company for three years taking care of her mother faithfully. Faithfully, they ain't never had to call her and say, hey, did you show up for work today? Hey, is your, is your mom doing all right? They ain't had to say none of that. But when she called in and said, hey, so look, it was crazy because when the lady called in to the bum company and asked them, yo, I've been with y'all for three years. Can I get a raise? You know what they said? They said, yo, it's just your mom. All you're doing is taking care of your mom. It's not like a job. I don't know if y'all heard that or not because can't nobody tell me that. My, my main job ain't taking care of my pop, man. Listen, if y'all think this thing is easy, y'all ain't never argue with nobody to get a bath and put the clothes on and brush your teeth, wash your face, get up and do what you got to do. If you think this ain't a job, man, you I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Look, if you're here with me, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. But look, man. Don't let anybody try to tell you that it's not a job. It's a definite job. It's a chore. I don't know. Maybe you was maybe you was bred to take care of other people. I don't know. I thought that, you know, I was really bred to do some other things in life, but this was the path that God chose for me. And he said, yo, your pop need help. So I had to jump in and do what I got to do, man. Now, if you like me and you feel like you just got to do what you got to do because, you know, everybody needs a little help and, you know, why not? You know, my pop... <laughs> It's my pop, man. I ain't asking you for nothing. I'd go ahead and handle my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So if you feel like I feel, man, and, 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 your, and your peoples are Medicaid and they're in a long-term health care program, what you need to do, man, is jump ship from the bump company that you at and come with me because we're going to do the best for you. Now, another thing that has come to my attention, people are asking me, how do I get the hours, KC? Because we not really, we don't have no hours. My mom been on the service with this with this with this beat company for a year now, and we got like 28 hours. Now listen, big, big thing that's going on right now. See, we are I already know. 
A lot of people don't know because they can't understand it. They've never done it. They can't fathom the idea that you might it might be really work to take care of somebody else. I guess maybe they never had no babies. They never had no, I don't know. They don't even know nobody who had any parents that they had to take care of. But what I do know is could be a big chore in your life. You know what I mean? Now, if you, you're already on the right train, man. You're just on the wrong track. If you go down the wrong track so far, man, it's going to be hard to get where you need to be. You know what I mean? My mom told me a long time ago. My mom been dead for like five years. She told me a long time ago. She said, yo, son, Christmas comes the same day every year. Every year, man. Every year. It ain't my stuff. But guess what? If you're not prepared for Christmas when it comes, it's over for you. I don't know what you're going to do. They texting me right now. Listen, I appreciate you, man. They all on it. If you need me, jump right in my inbox, man. You know, your cousin that needs us, put his name directly in the comment. I love when people interact with their family, man. They just let them know, like, look, you need to talk to this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? Talk to Mr. KC. He going to set you free, all right? Well, at least we're going to do the best that we can. See, these other companies, they are like, uh, they fill-ins. You know what I mean? They really there so you can get something until you figure out where you need to be. You understand what I'm saying? Once you figure it out, man, ain't going to be no stopping. You're going to get the biggest check. Your mom's going to have the best benefits because that's you. You know what I mean? Taking care of her. And everything going to be copacetic. You know what I mean? Now, if you're going through life... And you're not making no money, it's gonna be a stressful time. Everything gonna be an argument. Ah, I gotta be here. I ain't making no money. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? You don't listen, we don't promote that. We promote positivity and positively putting this check into your pocket. If you need me, you need more information, all you gotta do is shout at me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, if you're here with KC right now. Hit the live notifications button. I really don't know where it's at because I'm looking at my joint. But it might be like three dots. All you got to do is hit the three dots and you're going live with me every time. You know what I mean? If you're watching this on a different platform other than Facebook, make sure you subscribe. If you're listening to this, make sure you download the episode. And download as many episodes as you need because I'm giving out a lot of good information on these joints. And I don't want any, any of that to go to waste. I need you to know the best moves to make because a person... Who doesn't know the best move to make is not going to make a move. And shh, you're going to get stuck with that bum company for three years like this other lady I just helped today. All right? Definitely don't want that. You don't want to be on the wrong track for three years. Three years? Mm. I did a bid one time. It was three years, man. That's a long time. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't looking for that. So what I'm going to need you to do, man, get your mind right. You want a better paycheck? Call me. You want more care? You want a uh, you want a company? First of all, if you just want a company that you don't have to clock in with, you're taking care of your mom. You don't want to clock in. I'm taking care of my mom. <laughs> That's crazy. What I got to clock in for? Who do I clock in with? You got to clock in with a company to tell them you're taking care of your mom? That's crazy, dog. That's crazy. Listen, we got timesheets over here. All you got to do is write down what you did today. You know what I mean? At the end of the week, that same timesheet serves as your payroll sheet. All you got to do is take a picture of it, send it to the director. She going to get you paid. You know what I'm saying? Write down what it is you did with your mom. And another thing that we got for you now, they text me like crazy. Yeah, I, I love y'all, man. But you ain't got no questions right now. Don't text me. We on a lot. You know what I'm saying? All right. So look, and another thing, uh, I don't even know what I was going to say because they, they done threw me off. But look. You want the best attendant care you can get. A lot of these companies, they doing self-directed care. They making your mom, your mom's sick. They making your mom do a whole lot of work. We're going to relieve the pressure. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to pop the air that's in that BS tire, and we're going to come on over here and do the real thing. See, over here, we manage everything. You know what I mean? We hire you. Uh, 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 we take care of the hours. You know what I mean? We actually help you get more hours. That's really what I wanted to say. A lot of people are stuck in a rut where they're only getting a couple hours to work with their family members and it's really not paying off for them. They still got to go out and work part-time jobs or they still struggling even though they got a part-time job and they working at home. See, this is because the, the company that you with now, they don't know how to increase the hours. They don't know the rules to this game. They don't know how to help you any more than they're helping you right now. So what I'm telling you is, you need to skedaddle. You need to bail out like ASAP. All right? Look, 
Don't forget to like and share this joint. Definitely share it because I know you got a couple people that need this, all right? Look, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, or download all the episodes that you can. But make sure you with Mr. KC every time I go live, all right? Look, I love you. I got to get out of here. It's about that time. So what I want to tell you is don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is the wrong thing, all right? You're doing a good job, and we're taking care of others so we can get our blessings. You feel me? So... With that being said, man, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta make this dialysis run. All right. Talk to you soon. I'm out of here. Take it easy.